We are learning more tonight on a triple murder in Summit County where three men were found bound, gagged and shot in the head. Their bodies were found Friday morning, two along the side of the road on Cordova Avenue in Akron. The third found along Wright Road in Copley. Tonight, a local landscaper, 58 year old Elias Gudino is under arrest. He is charged with one count of aggravated murder and one count of attempted aggravated murder. Tonight, three news investigates has uncovered new details on the suspects criminal past as the head of a drug ring in Akron. Lydia Spara has the latest. Two men found tied and gagged in this wooded area in Akron. A short drive away, a third male. The same scenario, found tied and gagged. All three were shot in the head, and this all happened two days ago. Investigators are saying this man, 58-year-old Elias Gudino, is responsible for their deaths. Three News Investigates obtained these documents. Gudino, according to the criminal complaint, filed in federal court, was a drug trafficker. His rap sheets date all the way back to the 1990s. Court documents state his operation was based in southern Mexico and was extended right here to Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, Colorado, and Oklahoma. When he was arrested, he was found with eight kilos of cocaine. He was convicted and sent to prison in 2009 and was released in 2017. Three federal informants helped send Gudino to the federal penitentiary, all cooperating the DEA's findings. Gudino was a multi-kilogram cocaine distributor. One informant linked Gudino to known drug trafficker Tommy Rice of Akron. Rice is serving a 20-year sentence. On Gudino's Facebook page, he talks about being a grandfather and his landscaping business. From all accounts, neighbors say he seemed to be an ordinary person. Just a nice guy, you know, nice neighbor, quiet, you know, did his, went to work, did his job. A working class man living a simple life but a man with a hidden past. And so far, police have not released the names of the victims, nor have they told us how Gudino is connected to all those murders. We're also awaiting the coroner's report to see how long those three men may have been dead, Lena. So hopefully we're going to get all those reports and all those answers sometime this week. All right. Still much more to follow. Thanks so much, sure. Lydia.